the annual budget of around $3.1 billion, and I believe around 8,000 employees. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Obviously, there were many security failures on the day of the attempted assassination and leading up to that day. Let's start with the building that the shooter used to shoot President Trump from. At any point Saturday, did the Secret Service have an agent on top of that roof? Sir, I'm sure as you can imagine that we are just nine days out from this uh, incident and there's still an ongoing investigation. And so I want to make sure that any information that we are providing so, to you so, is so factual. You, you can't, okay. Why did the Secret Service not, can you answer why the Secret Service didn't place a single agent on the roof? We are still looking into the advanced process and the decisions right, that were right. made. Well, okay, okay. Let's, wasn't that building within the perimeter that should be secured? Do we agree with that? The building was outside of the perimeter on the day of the visit. But again, that is one of the things that during the investigation we want to take a look at and determine whether or not other decisions should have been made. One of the things that you said, I believe, in an interview that there wasn't an agent on the roof because it was a sloped roof, is that, is that normal and do you fear that that immediately creates an opportunity for future would-be assassins to look for a slanted roof? I mean, it, it, this is a huge question that every American has. Why wasn't a Secret Service agent on the roof? And there have been reports that agents were supposed to be on the roof, but it was hot that day and they didn't want to be on the roof. Can you answer any of those questions, Director? So I appreciate you asking me that question, Chairman. Uh, I should have been more clear in my answer when I spoke about where we place personnel in that interview. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, there was a plan in place to provide overwatch, and we are still looking into responsibilities and who was going to provide overwatch. Uh, but the Secret Service in general, not speaking specifically to this incident, when we are providing overwatch, whether that be through counter snipers or other technology, okay. prefer to have sterile rooftops. Did the Secret Service use any drones for surveillance that day? So again, I'm not going to get into specifics of that day in itself, but there are times uh, during a security plan that the Secret Service does deploy an asset like a drone. There were reports that the shooter used a drone just a few hours before the rally start time. Is that accurate? I have heard those same reports and, again, am waiting for the final report. Do you um, know, if you can't answer the question, that's your answer. But can you answer this? Do you know, do you know, I'm not asking yes or no, but do you know if the shooter used a drone before the shooting? That information has been passed to us from the FBI. How many Secret Service agents were assigned to President Trump on the day of the rally? Again, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the numbers of personnel that we had there, but we feel that there was a sufficient number of agents assigned. There are reports that several agents assigned to the rally on July 13th were, were temporary agents, agents not normally assigned to President Trump. Is that accurate? What I can tell you is that the agents that were assigned to former President Trump are Secret Service agents that provide close protection to him, and that was what was actual on that day. How many temporary agents were there that day? Quite frequently, sir, during campaign events, uh, the Secret Service utilizes uh, agents from HSI uh, or the Department of Homeland Security. You, you don't to know how many supplement you can't answer. our plan. Have the investigators reconstructed the shooter's precise movements over the past days, weeks, and months? So, again, we, we need we need to have confidence that. If the FBI is leading this investigation, that they're leading a credible investigation, because there's some of us sitting up here today that don't have a lot of confidence in the FBI. So I will repeat the question. Have the investigators reconstructed the shooter's precise moments over the past days, weeks, and months? I understand your question, Chairman, and I share your concerns about wanting to make sure that we have factual information. The FBI is conducting a criminal investigation. The Secret Service is conducting an internal investigation. There are a number of OIG investigations, and there is the external investigation okay. that the President la la Last initiated. question for me. Before July 13th, had the Trump detail requested additional resources? What I can tell you is that for the event on July 13th, the details that were requested, the, the assets that were requested for that day were given. My time has expired. Chair now recognizes this ranking member asking for five minutes.